Hi and good morning. So, inspired by Jeff Raymond uh, doing his yield checks the other, uh, oh, it's probably been a month ago right now, um, going out and measuring and, and pretty much I've never done that before. Uh, so, I thought it'd be really fun to actually go and try that today. So I have my measuring tape and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it, uh, how it goes okay so I'm gonna try to be representative although probably right here would be more how it's like this is short short and sandy we get in from the end rows where it actually starts Probably not go. Hmm. Planner wasn't on. Right there. This looks like a row. Okay, so if I remember correctly, measure 17.4 feet. I should have the uh, the rope like Jeff has. That is one smart idea. Let's tap those in the roots. Can't tell. I've done some welding using that as a measuring. It's not exact. <laughs> So, if I remember the steps correctly, count harvestable ears. <laughs> uh, some of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, of course, I had to go back through and watch uh, Jeff's video to see what year number. So, second, sixth, and tenth year. So, second. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have them. Time to go count them up. Okay, so before I go and count those up, I'm going to go over to uh really the main field I've never I really checked that one and that's uh I guess if you want to say that's where the bread and butter is going to be um of whether or not uh this year on how it ends up going so it's just uh I thought about getting the ATV but it's literally just across the little gully so uh this field that you're seeing on the left was planted at the same time as um this field i'm walking to so you can see where it was way too wet almost got stuck there <laughs> kind of the theme for the spring
Okay. So, let's get a representation of this field. If you can't tell, it's uh, a bit taller than the other. So it is a different variety. Uh, this is more of a uh, racehorse variety uh, versus the other wasn't. Uh, the other one was meant more to uh, knowing that that field does get stressed a fair amount. Uh, I didn't put one there. So yeah, we'll see how this does. Let's make our way in. The issue with this field will end up being the drowned out areas and what that does to yield. This was planted at a higher population than the others, more due to the variety of the corn that I was using. So let's measure off our uh, seventeen four. Okay, so lastly, the second six. Okay. Oh, that good. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Made it. Now it's time to go count them up. For real this time. You know, just from walking through that, I'm really interested to see how this variety does. Um, it's cropland. But, uh, nice uniform stand. I know that's a lot just to do with the field that it's in, but it's actually starting to rain. Um, I was hoping to fly my drone today, uh, but it was really, really windy yesterday. And then it's actually supposed to rain all day today. So I have to do that another time.
Hey, Hans. Hudson. Corn? Did you like it? Did you like it? You wanna... You wanna see how? Huds. <laughs> Hudson, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. You go and pick corn with daddy over time. Ooh. Ooh. Can you say wow? Wow. That's something. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay, so I got caught up uh, doing some stuff later uh, this afternoon, so I'm finally down in my basement going to uh, to figure this out um, I did count them up earlier uh, so this particular hybrid it's it's cropland it's actually um, the description of it is a tough acre hybrid uh, that has the potential in low yielding environments uh, so that's actually one of the reasons why I planted planted it where I did uh, so all three, um, they don't look it, but I, I try to be conservative at the top um, and also at the bottom. Uh, so they're all 16 by 30, and by the estimations, um, using the three different fudge numbers, um, and then just from the row that I counted up, uh, it was a 21,000 population, uh, which is lower than I planted it at. I actually was planted it at 26 so um, you know that was one of the fields that got planted early so we'll see uh, the range that it was in uh, was uh, 107 to 136 bushels per acre obviously not anything too great but where I am at in Michigan um, I mean to be honest I, I aim for a around a 125 uh, average. Uh, 150 would be nice, but it usually depends on the year. So if that can, doing that 107 to 130 range, even 120, uh, that's gonna be right in line. Um, it'd be nicer if it did better because there are some drowned out spots in that field. Uh, but that's that one. And then the other field, um, like I said before, this is the, uh, resource variety uh, type. Um, I think it said it uh, has the potential for high yields um, across a number of soil conditions, but it's still supposed to do well. So if I remember correctly, um, it was a 14 by 37, a 16 by 32, and then this gem of a 16 by uh, what did I say? 24. Uh, so part of me didn't want to uh, count the last one, uh, but I mean, it is reflective of, um, could be reflective of the field, so I kept it in there. Um, and that put it in the 140 to 175 range. Uh, so obviously, if it's more like the two on the left, I am good with that. Um, even 150. Now that field has some major washouts, drowned outs. So we will see how that goes. But yeah, this is the uh, yield check so far. <laughs> two whopping spots in two different fields. So who knows? It may not be reflective of it at all. Um, but you can see um, they actually are all denting. Uh, this field was planted two weeks before this one. And you can see, um, so while it's denting, it's definitely not 
uh, to the to this. But yeah, we will uh, continue to see how it goes and go from there. Thank you.